getting started blogging is super easy. I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get my blog set up and give you a couple of easy alternatives as well. I use WordPress for my INFJ woman blog. There's a link in the description to get you started on the right site. WordPress is great though because you can start for free and it has built-in templates so you don't need to know how to build a website. It's really, really user-friendly. All you have to do to get started is follow the link that is in the video notes and then start your site. You create an account here for WordPress, which is really, really easy. Start one here and create your account. You don't have to have a domain. You can just start with one and it'll give you suggestions. So if you want to start for free, you can buy a domain if you want to, or you can start for free, which is this first one right here that's kind of hard to see, which will give you a .wordpress.com domain, which is perfectly fine to start with. You don't need a domain to start with. The next page gives you all the plans that they have, but like I said, you don't need a plan to start with. You can start right up here for free. So your site is created here and it will walk you through everything that you need to do to name your site, set up your homepage, confirm your email, everything that you need. And it can be that simple. Edit your homepage. You don't have to be technical or a website builder in order to build one of these sites. It can be super easy and simple to begin with. It does not need to be fancy. WordPress will walk you through everything that you need to know. And there is so much help, so many help files, so many YouTube videos to help you set up your blog that you don't need to pay somebody to do it. You can do it really, really quickly. If you don't like this layout, you can change the layout over here. And see, it gives you all of these templates to where all you have to do is change the pictures and change the text and you're good to go. So let's go back to the domain name. Do you need your own domain name to start your blog? Technically, no. Like I showed you, you can start with a .wordpress.com domain name. However, I do suggest that you get a domain name right away, even if you don't connect it right away. There's more information on domain names and social media handles, which are also important, in this video titled, What Social Media Should I Be On? If you wanna learn more about starting a blog or an online business, make sure that you sign up for my blog school email list at infjwoman.com slash blog school. There's a link in the video description. Okay, so let's talk about some alternatives to WordPress. If you don't wanna use WordPress, there's a couple of more that you can use. You can use Wix. A lot of people use Wix. I've used it before. I don't find it to be very easy to use, but it is a drag and drop type of website builder. And a lot of people use it and like it a lot. So I would suggest that you try it out and see if it's something that you like. Something else that a lot of people use is called Squarespace. It's another great website builder. And again, it's drag and drop, super, super, super friendly, easy to use. It is a little bit more expensive, but there's also a lot more buildability into it. You can expand really, really well with, with Squarespace and you can customize it. You don't have to customize it right now, but it gives you that option in the future. That's one of the things that I like about WordPress as well, is that it gives you the option to scale your blog up. And it works really, really well to handle a lot of traffic. Now, you might think to yourself right now, I don't have a lot of traffic on my blog. Nobody reads my blog because it's brand new, right? But you want to think about six months down the road or a year down the road or three years down the road. Do you really want to be moving your website to a whole new platform? I can tell you it's a whole lot of work. I've done it multiple times and I encourage you to not do that. So if you want your blog to be a hobby for the rest of your life, that's totally fine to build your blog wherever you want to. You can start with a cheap option too, like Bluehost. If you use Bluehost or Gatorhost or one of those cheaper options, 
you will save money, but you're going to spend a lot of time building your website or paying somebody else to build your website. The websites there are a lot more customizable, but they're a lot harder to build. That's the catch with those. If you want to get started super simple, easy, fast, I would suggest that you go with either the main WordPress, Wix, or Squarespace. Now, if you're not sure about investing in a website right now, or if you're just not to that point yet, if you really want to test the concept of your blog or to just try writing for a while to see if it's even, even something that you're go going to like, then you can start with something that isn't your own. There are a couple of platforms that you can use that are really easy and won't cost you anything. Medium is a great one. Medium is a blogging site. So you don't actually own the website, but you can have your own blog on Medium. And it's really, really easy to set up. Okay, so this is what Medium looks like when you sign in. And this is my account. And here's some of the stories that I've posted here. And all that you have to do to post a new story is to hit new story here. And then you just start typing, put in your story. Um, when they come up, they'll look like this. And I know that my stories don't have a lot of breathability into them, but you can include headlines, pictures, all of those types of things, just like you would with a normal blog. Um, a great thing about Medium too, is there's already an audience on Medium. That doesn't necessarily mean that just because you're posting a story or a blog post on Medium that people are going to read it, but it does give you that option. Okay, so the last thing I wanna tell you about is LinkedIn. If your blog is about anything that has to do with career, work-life balance, jobs, how to find a job, anything that has to do with business, LinkedIn is a great place to start. And you can post articles or you can post blog posts or what they call articles on LinkedIn. And how you do that, this is my LinkedIn profile. And all you have to do is go right up here and do post an activity. And then you can see the articles here. I only posted half of mine and then linked it back to my blog. So you can do something like that, or you can post a new one by clicking on home and then click right here on write article. And that will open up a new page for you to write an article. You can add a picture at the top and then you just write your article in here, or you can copy and paste it there. So LinkedIn is a great alternative if you're not quite ready to have your own website yet. Another option for building your blog website is to completely outsource the whole process. If it's totally overwhelming to you and, and it's not something that you think that you can figure out or that you would want to figure out, you can hire someone else to do it, even if you're just hiring somebody else to set it up for you. Because once you have it set up and running, it's as simple as adding a new post. Don't let a website hold you back from having your own blog or your business and sharing your message with the world. I know it's a lot to take in at first and it can be really, really overwhelming, but it really is pretty easy and there's lots of help. There's lots of articles. Every single site that I showed you has their own help section and there's lots of videos on YouTube that you can reference as well for building your site. Every time that you get stuck, every time I get stuck, I put in my question to Google and usually have an answer within a matter of seconds. So it really is pretty simple as long as you just take the process step by step and don't get too overwhelmed or frustrated. If you want more advice about starting a blog or an online business, make sure that you check out my blog school playlist. Also, make sure that you subscribe so you never miss a video.